My name is Rudy Ritz. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Agricultural Education and Communications. The Texas Alliance for Water Conservation is a producer-led project, given that farmers utilize a portion of their enterprise to demonstrate innovative methods of water management. This producer-driven model is different than we're accustomed to in most of our bench science applications of research. So with that, instead of having the Texas Tech University uh, management team tell them how to do things. The producers tell us how they are doing things, so to speak. And so with that said, we can measure uh, different practices and behaviors within those producers' enterprises and then see what we can learn from them across the board of the industry. Engagement from a university faculty member or others involved in research should always be a priority in regard to our stakeholders across industry. Specifically in agriculture, the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources has direct impact when it comes to research, demonstration, or other scholarly efforts. For example, the food and fiber industry is very demanding in terms of how we will feed the growing population, not only at the locale, but at the state level, the national level, and internationally. So from a global perspective, when we're thinking about how we'll feed society, it's going to take a lot of water to get that done. Water management for the production of row crops, other feedstuffs, as well as livestock production is becoming more and more uh, significant of an area of research with the fact that water is our most precious resource for life. One of my tasks associated with my appointment is to collaborate on an interdisciplinary basis with other members and researchers in our community, including Texas Tech, the Texas Alliance for Water Conservation, makes up this team of, of individuals who are working with producers in the area in water management. We hold various events throughout the summer months, which we call field walks. Additionally, we hold an annual field day, which is more close to the fall harvest time. These field days and field walks allow stakeholders involving the producers themselves, as well as other agribusiness individuals or other stakeholders with interest in water management to attend and see the demonstration sites which are led by the producers. Every January, the TAWC will hold an annual water college, which is a more intensive event with guest speakers who are experts in the field to not only talk about water management in the field, but as well as other areas such as meteorology and economics. One of the areas of growth needed with the TAWC as we move forward is to try to expand the outreach and engagement to others in the area of not only agriculture, but those who are involved in the food and fiber industries across the state of Texas. Expanding growth in other areas in terms of soil health, as well as alternative sources of water, would be an area where the project has long-term goals for future improvement in the project itself. Continuing a relationship with the Texas Water Development Board is a very important goal to move forward with this project. Along with others in the state, Entities such as the Texas Department of Agriculture, the local water districts, and others can allow this project to not only model what has been done in the past, but see where we can look at future opportunities for demonstration research. Again, producer-led projects allow those who are directly involved in the trenches out in agriculture to come up with innovative ways to manage water and grow food and fiber for our society. I encourage our faculty to really look for opportunities to seek methods and ways that we can have outreach efforts with our clientele. The public out there is very interested in what we do in terms of working with our students. They're very interested in research that's going to impact them directly. And so if we can reach those audiences more often with educational programming, as well as other ways that maybe we can engage scholarship opportunities with our stakeholders across the industries, then we will benefit more as a university to be able to move out and reach these audiences that we normally don't work with. I am a Red Raider and I make discoveries to impact the human dimensions of agriculture.